what is going on everybody because of the crazy amount of support y'all have shown me over the last couple years i have a super special one for y'all today we have gotten the 100k plaque from youtube and as soon as i got that sucker i built a squirrel feeder out of it with the intent of pinning some old squirrels right to that plaque i mean come on surely y'all haven't seen that on the internet yet now outside of y'all our biggest supporter is William Tell Archery. I mean, they've been with us since almost the beginning and I appreciate it. But I hadn't decided which bow I wanted to use to make this video. I didn't know if I wanted to use the 150 pound reverse draw bow, the 120 pound forward limb bow, or just go in the middle and use the 150 pound forward limb bow. But I figured since I put three squirrels in a pot of dumplings, I could just run through all three of the bows, shoot one squirrel with every bow just working my way through. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with the 120 pound forward limb bow. I got the stock on it. And let me just jump in here and get this video started. My goodness, it is a sauna in here. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to take this sitting in a blind in July is almost more than I can handle. We're gonna start out with our uh, 14 inch bolts and a little two blade broadhead that we sell on our website. And the idea is just, you know, I would use the 12 inch bolts, but I'm trying to pin them to the feeder and I want to make sure that they don't slide off. So I'm gonna give myself a couple extra inches of air. All right, now we're just gonna sit here and wait for a squirrel to slip down here and grab a sunflower seed. Try not to have a heat stroke in the process. That second arrow done it. Pin them to the plaque. Whew, it is hot in here. Well, didn't actually get that one pinned to the plaque. It just pinned it to the feeder. But he was kind of having a hard time hanging from the top. You know, I wanted him to be hanging here so I could be like, whack. Went ahead and put a second arrow in him. It was unneeded, but he was flopping around and we just wanted to go ahead and finish the job. So, we're gonna switch weapons, get the forward limb 150 pound mini striker, and get out here and wait on another one. First, I gotta get this one cleaned and in the house because it is too hot to be letting them sit around. The meat will just spoil and we eat them. Whew, just crawl back in the blind. All geared up for round two. This is the 150 pound forward limb bow. We're gonna shoot this one in just old school pistol crossbow form. I'm not gonna put the stock on it. If any of y'all are thinking, oh, that's the same bow we just had. No, this is the bow I just had. This is the 150 pound upgraded limbs. All right, I'm gonna give it a minute and see if another squirrel eases it down this tree. Well, there's one up there, just out of sight. He's up there running circles around that tree, raising cane, barking. He's wise to my schemes. Let's hope he settles down, comes on down here, and gives us a shot. I don't think I got that one pinned to the plaque either. I think I hit just to the side of it. This may be a harder, a harder uh, mission than what I thought because the plaque is so tall. We'll get a full size one here in a minute that hangs all the way down from the top. Got her done with the 150. That's two. One with the 120 forward limb, one with the 150 forward limb. And I, I didn't get this one pinned to the plaque either, I don't think. 
I might have clipped the edge of it. I broke that arrow. That's what I get when I get to wiggling it back and forth. It's poking out. Let me get that broadhead back. Let me get this squirrel clean first. Like I said, it is hot. Man, we've got two squirrels pinned to the feeder. No squirrels pinned to the play. We are down to our last bow. But I am going to put the stock on this one because, well, I just find it easier to shoot little bitty squirrels with a stock. I can aim a little better. There ain't nothing to switching the stock. I only have one stock for all these mini striker bows, and I just switch it around as needed. There's just three little uh, Allen screws. When I say little, I mean little. They're tiny little things. Once you take them out, the handle just pops off. I've already taken these out. Then you just set it back on there. Put the Allen screws back in. Ain't much to it. Get this rigged up. We're gonna get back over there. It is hot. If one don't show up in just a couple minutes, I'm gonna wait till in the morning. <laughs> it's a lot cooler in the morning times. We are back in the saddle. Got the reverse draw striker and it won't take long because there are three squirrels in that big oak tree. We just got a 12 inch bolt instead of the 14. Well, because I was using it last week and I got it sided in with the 12 inch bolt. I actually prefer the 12 inch bolts. The only reason a 14 inch bolt comes into play is because that's uh, the legal requirement to deer hunt. You have to have a 14 inch bolt in my state to deer hunt. If it wasn't for that, I'd just hunt with these 12 inch bolts. Right, I'm gonna get quiet, wait for one to come down the tree. Last one of the day. That one just dropped like a rock. But it's right there. Dang, three squirrels. I'm gonna have to work on this feeder a little bit because they're hanging off the side instead of hanging off the front. I don't know, let's go get that one. Man, that old reverse draw bow dropped her like a rock. I see what happened now. It just hit right here where she was sitting and broke the side off. And that caused her to fall. She still got the whole air in her, broad head and everything. Well, we did not get a hole punched in our plaque. We shot three squirrels with three bows, but I'm here to tell you it wasn't for lack of trying. So y'all just go ahead and subscribe. We'll get a post across it and figure something out. We got a long squirrel season ahead of us, and we'll get some holes punched in this thing, get some squirrels pinned to it. I appreciate all of y'all that have subscribed. So I got to get this squirrel cleaned up. It is blistering hot today. That is all I have. I appreciate y'all watching so much, more than you know. Uh, don't forget to check out our website. We got lots of errors for sale on there. Mm, yeah, that's all I got. I appreciate y'all watching again, and we'll catch you next time.